your Jewish Uncle Shlomo. Hello, everybody. Can you believe my cousin Carolyn? She sets a veg. Anyone know what that means? A vetch is the person that complains a lot, like Carolyn and her dog. <laughs> what she needs are some potato latkes. That'll fix her. <laughs> I love Hanukkah season. Does anyone else like Hanukkah season? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, I'll give you guys some gelt and dreidels. Uh, whoops. Oh, man, I'm such a schmuck. <laughs> Idiot. It seems as if I left him back in my apartment back in New York City. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hey, I'll, tell you a, I'll tell you a story. A Hanukkah story. How's that sound? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you a story about Hanukkah Harry, because that's a stupid story. Those guys in SNL, they're such schlubs. Assholes. They can bite my tuckus. My ass. No, I'm going to tell you the story of a real hero. The Hebrew hammer. Uh, one day in the village, the Hebrew hammer, who is not John Lovitz, heard, heard a cry for help. Say help. help. Was this the Hebrew hammer said? There's a cry for help. I must rush to the side of the scene. <laughs> oh, the hammer. He, he, was, he was such a masha. The big shot. But, but, when he, but when he got to the village, he saw the villagers were being attacked by the Christmas gnome. It's like, and he's holding the entire village hostage. It's like, the... The gnome attacked the Hebrew hammer with nasty fruitcakes and ugly sweaters. The Hebrew hammer didn't know what to do. He was down for the count. But then he saw right next to him was a great big pile of coal. And he knew that the gnome has been naughty this year and that the coal was his weakness. So he grabbed the, so he grabbed the coal and started chucking at the gnome and he went down. And then the Hebrew hammer got in and he attacked the gnome and he attacked him and he attacked him. And the villagers were saved. And then they all celebrated. <laughs> and that's, that's the story. <laughs> and that's the story. Yes, I love Hanukkah season, but I don't hate Christmas season as much. I mean, when else, one other time can you get cheap Chinese food? And go, and go to the movie theaters where you won't have people complain about the movie next to you, have people talking loudly in front of people about the movie, or, have peop or people having sex right next to you while watching the movie. <laughs> Does Masha? These bastards. They're always ruining my good. Always ruining my good times. Like I can't hear. I can't hear the movie. Can't you do that somewhere else? But there's one thing. There's one thing I absolutely hate about the Christmas season, and it just drives me nuts every year. I don't know why people do this. They put up their Christmas lights too goddamn early. Like, I swear, I was just walking down here. Half the house is already at Christmas lights up. Like, it's November 12th or 13th or whatever this day is. <laughs> it's not Christmas. There's a bunch of holidays before Christmas. Like, you have World Kindness. You have World Kindness Day. Have a Bad Day Day. And Chicken Soup for the Soul Day. I wish I could eat real food again. It's terrible. That's right. <laughs> and then, of course, there is Thanksgiving. But I think, there need, I think there needs to be a law about Christmas lights. That you cannot put Christmas lights up until the day after Thanksgiving. But then I guess people are just going to complain that the, new Christmas colors are, that the new Thanksgiving colors are red, white, and green. And that's all I got. Uh -huh.